Good morning guys, not at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It is only 12. It's improvement. <laughs> um, <coughs> I am making some coffee and I'm going to get all my treatment and take Panda out and do the normal things. I was planning on going for a run today, but getting over to my running spot, I just realized it's probably going to be a bit of a challenge because the they're repaving right in front of us. I'm, I'm gonna try to get a video of it later once everybody's awake, but um, because I don't want to talk up my bedroom windows while people are sleeping, but um, yeah, it's gonna be interesting. I'll probably have to go down farther, like, usually I can just cut right across the street and there's the lake, that's what I run around, but probably have to go down farther or go up this way and go that go around. So, anyway, I'll figure it out, but it's gonna be a little more complicated. <laughs> um, also have to give Panda a bath today because he is going to the vet tomorrow and hang on I'm gonna go grab a cup. Hi Gort. Um anyway I have to give Panda a bath today because he is going to the vet tomorrow and I don't really want him to stink up the vet or the car so I have to give him a bath tomorrow today. Um this vet is like an hour away from us but my sister said they're really good so I have to be up pretty early tomorrow to have it ready for him to go to the vet because we have to leave by 8 30 but um and we also have to make sure that we grab our fire extinguisher and leave it outside the door um tonight because they are replacing everybody's fire extinguishers so those are the three things that I have to remember for today um well the running I will remember but <coughs> <coughs> um, yeah, so I am pretty excited to try out the new vet tomorrow. I'm also looking forward to he, my dog of all things, is allergic to grass. And so um, whenever he has flare-ups, he'll usually take Apico for it and it'll really help him. But because we've been kind of in between vets, um, he ran out of it. So I'm looking forward to hopefully getting some of that for him tomorrow. And also he has to get all his shots because he's due. Um, but yeah. So, anyway, I am looking forward to trying them out. Just makes me a little bit nervous. But today, so today is just a thing of getting things done. Run, dog bath, and this is going to get really obnoxious by the end of the day. Their heavy duty machinery that they're using to repave outside is making it vibrate in here. Like, I keep hearing beeping from the machines and the floor keeps vibrating. So I can only imagine what the poor people on the first floor are feeling. Um, because we're on the second floor, but, eh, you learn to live with it, right? So, anyway, my coffee is done, and I'm gonna go get on my treatment, and I get extra vibrations. You know, my treatment shakes me up while I get vibrations from them paving and vibrations from a treatment, so it's like an extra treatment, right? <laughs> anyway, hope you guys are having a good day as well, and I'll see you guys in a little while. I thought I'd show you guys what's going on out there, if it'll focus, because it's not going to because my camera never wants to focus. Come on, focus. Hang on. There we go. So they have repaved that whole section. This section has not been paved yet. Well, actually, no, they have done a little bit of it. This morning, none of it was paved. Now this part is paved and that part is paved. I don't know if they're gonna repave the road part or not. Well, they've only done like half of that parking lot, so I assume they're going to do more. That's what I was saying <clears throat> when I go to do my runs. I normally walk out our front door over here and then cross that little grassy area over there. And there's the lake, and I just go that way. But tonight, I'm going to have to like go that way. I'm trying not to film people. I'm going to have to like go that way or go down this way and go around those townhouses right there to get out. So it'll be a little more complicated, but it's doable. But, um, yeah, you guys obviously can't feel the vibrations, but the room is vibrating from something. I don't think it's that little little thing going back and forth beeping. Oh, it almost looks like it's going to rain. That would kind of be bad, considering they're repaving. Um, I don't know what's making the vibrations, but that is what's going on outside today. <coughs> repaving all the the parking lots. Hey guys, so I apologize if you hear some beeping in the background. Actually, it looks like they're almost done um, with the asphalt. Looks really nice, actually. They, they're, they're repaving the road now. But anyway, that is not what I picked the camera up for. What I picked the camera up for was to say that um, 
I don't think I ever told you guys, but two days ago I hit the 10,000 word mark on my book and last night I hit 11,000 words, but I'm not really on track with the the NaNoWriMo, like the 50,000 words, 100, this is very distracting, um, the uh, 100, 1,667 words every day. The only thing I'm doing for NaNoWriMo it's just making sure I write a little bit every single day and that's something that I wasn't doing before because I don't think I'm going to get to 50,000 words. I mean I'm at 11,000 and I'm just starting to talk about the January of 2017 and I'm only doing this book, I'm going to recap the entire of 2018 but I'm only going to like at the end do a little summary of 2019 because I don't want to write about the whole year of 2019 and um anyway so I'm, the whole reason I started in an hour was just to uh to kind of commit myself to write every single day and I think that it's working. Um, I did not write on the second. I don't remember, we were doing something on the second. I don't remember what we were doing, but we were busy on the second. But every day since then I have written and <clears throat> like last night, for example, um, I really didn't want to write. I just wanted to, I did my whole outline for 2017, which took like an hour. And then I really just wanted to sit down and watch 911 and just chill out. And I was like, well, I'm going to make myself write at least a paragraph, just a paragraph, if not more. So I sat down and I wrote about a little under 400 words. It was like 387 words last night. But I'm still happy with that and I think that it's working because I want to finish my, my book by the end of this month so that I can edit it next month, which is the part that I'm dreading. I hate editing. Um, and then so I can hopefully publish it sometime around January because I'm going to try and do like self-publishing. But um, yeah, I'm happy with the way that it's actually working for me to commit myself to writing every day because that was my problem. Like yesterday, I have days where I just don't want to write. Some days I'm like, oh, I cannot wait to write. I'm so excited. And some days I'm like, I really just want to watch TV. But um, the NaNoWriMo seems to be working. So I'm excited to say I'm actually at 11,107 words right now. I think I'm probably going to end up with around... Um, 25 to 30,000 words which is fine for a biography because I don't have 50,000 words to write about my life <laughs> um but yeah so I'm excited that that it's working and I'm, I'm slowly slowly piecing this novel together because let me tell you I learned from Saving Falcon which I wrote in 2017 it is not easy to write a book and I am I have so much you know commend the authors that have put out multiple books because it's not easy but um yeah it's it's slowly coming together slowly slowly but surely coming together so i'm excited for it and exci it's exciting to see it start coming together because the more more words i put on the page whether i want to write or not the closer i get to the end goal hey guys i'm gonna go ahead and say good night i went out for a run and then took a bath which is why my hair looks absolutely atrocious um i did a I still didn't do where my running was at. I did a three minute, ten minutes of running in three and two minute increments. So I'm, I bumped it up to like week three, I think. So on my next run, which will probably be Saturday, I'll bump it up to week four, which is where I was at before I had to take the break from running, and then uh, continue with week five starting next week. So the plan is going to going to according to plan um today's run was definitely a little bit harder i mean sunday's run took absolutely nothing out of me today's run did but that's okay that's good um at least you know i got a good workout and my hair is just gonna do whatever it wants so anyway i am making a cup of coffee because <clears throat> between the run and the time change it is 6.37 and it feels like 1 in the morning. Like seriously, it feels so late outside. I'm going to probably keep going on about the time change for a while. But it, guys, it literally is like 6.37 and it is pitch black outside. Like that's just not right. I cannot wait. I was saying like I cannot wait for December 21st because then at least I know the days are getting longer instead of shorter. But yeah, I, feel, I really feel bad for you guys like up in the... Um, you know, the north where it's getting dark even earlier than because you have less daylight than obviously like Florida. We have a lot of daylight, so it's probably getting dark like four or five. That's just even worse. Like I know in Arkansas right now, it's getting dark about five o'clock. So um, at least, you know, six, six thirty isn't that bad, but I still don't like it. So I'm going to go ahead and upload this and um, 
going to be up bright and early tomorrow morning. Although I have gotten myself into a rhythm of going to bed about 10 o'clock. So that's good. Um, but going to get up bright and early tomorrow morning because we have to leave for the bed at 8.30. You so excited, buddy? Panda. Panda. Are you so excited? He's purposely ignoring me. I think he, I think he knows. Um, and um, then, yeah. So, my camera says it's dying. So, thank you guys so much for coming along on my day today, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night.